Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on my channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. If you are new here, I wanna say a very special welcome to you. I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave if you like what you see today. It's free, it's easy, and it helps you find my videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I upload. And allegedly, if you ring that notification bell to all YouTube, we'll let you know when that happens. So today is my highlighter collection tag. These tags are, have all been inspired by Samantha March and Allie Glines, who put together my eyeshadow collection tag, which then inspired a whole bunch of other tags to be created in different categories. I've seen foundation, I've seen blush, bronzer, and I thought I would bring my game for the highlighter collection tag. Do let me know down below if there's any other categories that you would like to see from me. I have done blush and bronzer as well as lippies and eyeshadow palettes. So we better get into it because I love talking about makeup and here we go. So I did take some of the questions from the original tag as well as you know subsequent tags after that but I also added a couple of fun questions directly related to highlighter toward the end so stay tuned but the first highlighter is my newest highlighter and for me it is the Revlon skin lights prismatic highlighter and I have this in the shade daybreak glimmer very gold but not too dark this is still very very new to me and I'm not for sure that I've found the best way to apply this just yet it can cause my skin to look a little bit textured even when I go over this with a damp sponge and kind of try to press it into the skin so if you have any tips for me let me know down below next is my oldest highlight and I venture to guess this might be a lot of people's oldest highlight except for maybe the Mary Luminizer highlight from the balm but for me it is the essence pure nude highlighter and I love this I have a huge dip in mine the thing I love about this is that it is just so smooth. It gives that very lit from within look, especially if you apply this after your bronzer but before your blush. It's going to look like it's a part of your skin. It absolutely blends itself, which is another thing that I love about it. But this is just a great go-to highlighter. I think there aren't very many looks that this wouldn't pair well with and that's why I keep it around even though it is my oldest highlighter. Next let's talk dollars shall we? <laughs> Starting off with my most expensive highlighter this is kind of a multi-purpose product but I personally use it the most as a cream or liquid highlighter and that is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have mine in the shade 3 light medium Medium, which is definitely a pretty good match for me although I would say I could go down a shade and take shade two for the winter months when I'm a bit more pale I love this because again this is something I actually like to put this on my skin right after my foundation and then I go in with my bronzer and my blush etc it's so beautiful it's so natural it does have a little bit of coverage to it which I find really interesting and that's why I say I probably could go down a shade during the cooler months but this does work it doesn't look ashy it doesn't cause a cast on my skin it's just one that I definitely have to wear under my blush and I love this. Uh, it does come in at a whopping $44, however, which is definitely the most expensive highlighter in my collection, which is why it's very annoying. Does anybody else have their writing rubbing off of theirs? Pretty soon, I feel like you're not even going to be able to tell what it is. Most affordable, again, I do not like to repeat products in these tags as much as possible, but I can't help it. It was my oldest and it's also my least expensive highlighter again the essence pure nude 
This comes in at $4.99, which is absolutely a steal. I've had this for probably three years now. You can see I have a nice dip going in it, but man, for $4.99, you will never run out of this product. I've never seen anybody pan this product and probably for good reason. Next is your everyday highlighter and this was a little bit difficult because lately I've been wearing the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in the shade Privilege like constantly. But when I think of every day, I think of something that's not too loud, that's just really flattering, works with a ton of looks, works with the makeup that I do wear on a mostly everyday basis. And for me, that is the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in the shade Lunar Pop. It's so pretty. It has these little flower embossings on here. You might be able to tell that I've worn that away quite a bit in the middle. And this is a beautiful everyday highlight. I definitely think that the Essence Pure Nude could fall in this category as well. But for me, I just love this. There's something very flattering about this product. It's very smoothing. It applies to the skin beautifully. You can buff it in. You could layer it up if you want to, you know, glow to outer space or what have you. It's a really interesting shade as well. I would say that this is like champagne, pink, and peach had a baby, and there was born the perfect everyday highlighter. This is a similar texture to their other like cheek pops and things like that. Um, and I absolutely love the bronzer as well. You would have seen that in my bronzer tag, which I can link for you. But this is definitely one that I've reached for on a regular basis, and it's perfect for an everyday highlighter if you're looking for one. I like the next question a whole lot. I believe Samantha introduced this question into her bronzer tag when she put that up, and that is a highlighter that surprised me. And I had to think about this a little bit, but then whilst I was reminiscing, you know, purchasing some of these highlighters, but I remember going into store and swatching this highlighter. Unfortunately, they didn't have one in stock, so I immediately ordered it at the counter, and it came to me a few days later. It is the Juvia's Place The Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. When I swatched this in store, I gasped. <laughs> I gasped out loud. That's such a hard word to say. Look at it. It's so shiny. It's so pretty, but it's also really versatile. It's something that you can buff into the skin or use a fluffier brush for a really light, glossy finish, or you can really build this up to where, you know, it's it's absolutely kind of blinding. Like you might want to let air traffic control know that you're gonna be building this highlighter up that day. It's just stunning. I've never experienced a highlighter before this like this and I have still not experienced it after. I also really love to use this as an eyeshadow and I'm not in the habit of doing that. I don't typically use bronzers or blush or highlight as eyeshadow, but this one I absolutely do. And because it has a little bit of a sheer quality to it, I can tap this over any eye look and it's just going to add the perfect amount of shine factor and it's absolutely gorgeous. If I had to recommend any highlighter other than the Nabla one that you know I've been loving, I would recommend this one of all the ones that I'm talking about today. And Juvia's Place is relatively affordable, if you will, so I feel really good about recommending this one and it definitely surprised me. Next is your highlighter with the best memory. Now for me and these face products, it's a little difficult, difficult, difficult because I don't always associate memories with face makeup, more so with eyeshadow palettes, but definitely the best memory that I have in terms of a highlighter is this one from Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Highlighter in the shade Sahara, and this was a beautiful 
luxurious gift from my hubby. This is a beautiful luxury product. It came in a little bougie bag that I like to call it, but it's like a little uh, velvet sleeve that you can keep this product in. And I really like this product because it is definitely subtle. Like it's a very nice, again, glow from within. Looks like you just have really good skin or good skincare. And I really like this because it goes from a light champagne to a more pinky rose gold shade to a more nude shade. I know some with very, very fair skin are able to use this almost like a face palette where they use highlighter, blush, and a little bronze, including Hannah Louise Poston. But it's so pretty and it's a beautiful memory because my husband embraces what I do here on YouTube and supports what I do here on YouTube, but I don't know that he necessarily understands what I do here on YouTube, why it's so important to me and things like that. So whenever he, <laughs> Misty, whenever he produces something luxurious or expensive to me because he has access to my Sephora and Ulta wish lists, I am just blown away by just the generosity of it. Yes, it's my money too, obviously, but at the same time, it's just because he doesn't understand it and he still does it anyways, it means a lot to me. So before we get all misty, <laughs> I'll carry on. Next is Worth the Hype. And for me, I have two of these and they are the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighters or Super Shock Sheet Sheet Cheeks. <laughs> and I have two shades here and I love them both, but these are fantastic. This is Lunch Money over here and then this is Flexitarian. Look at that gleam. And I think maybe the reason that some people shy away from these is because they don't know how to apply something like this. I had kind of the same conundrum when I first purchased these. These are two cult favorite shades as well. So you have Lunch Money up here. It's a little more subtle and a little bit more golden. And then you have Flexitarian, which actually reminds me a lot of the Juvia's Place Tribe Highlighter. So if you want an even less expensive or more inexpensive option, then there's Flexitarian here. But for me, the way that I like to apply these is with a sponge or apply it with my fingers, like tap it on and then go in with a sponge to sort of press it in and diffuse it. And I love these. They also make fantastic eyeshadows but these are a really phenomenal formula and I can see why some people love them, use them up. I am definitely that girl too. And I think they're worth every bit of the hype. I don't know that we hear about them as much now on YouTube as we once did, but I, st I still think they're worth the hype. Now, the next one is not worth the hype and some of us are just going to have to agree to disagree on this. I like these and I wouldn't keep them in my collection if I didn't, but for me, as much hype as these have gotten and still get from certain people, I just don't understand, I guess. Educate me if you will, but <laughs> It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. I have two, I have Opal and Prismatic Amethyst. Opal, this is just kind of like a little deluxe sample size and it is a really pretty color. It is one that I have to be a little bit careful with during the cooler months. It's not, it's a little dark for me during the cooler months. And you can see I did hit pan on mine. I do love this as an eyeshadow, I will say that. I find it a little more user-friendly as an eyeshadow. And then here is Prismatic Amethyst. This is from my beautiful friend, Beauty by Angela here on YouTube. And she and I had a little trade because I used to have Vanilla Quartz and I just never wore it and it was it is one of her favorite highlighters. So we traded because she didn't love this Prismatic Amethyst and I've always wanted to try it. I've yet to try this on my face just because I don't think I've quite 
had the right look to go with this but I have used it as an eyeshadow again and I really like it for that it's just really pretty it's a duochrome at some point we will find out whether this looks good on my face or not but either way it's really beautiful and I'm happy to have it but for me like I said I feel like this is more like an eyeshadow formula and for me I always feel like these highlights emphasize a texture on my skin and I don't know, I just don't see what the hype is. So many of these other formulas that I've already mentioned, I prefer over the Becca highlights. So there you go. Next is a favorite highlighter from a favorite brand. And I love me some ColourPop. And for me, it is the ColourPop Light Sticks in the shade Earth. This was a recommendation from Jessica Braun here on YouTube. I buy a lot of stuff because of Jessica Braun, but this one was absolutely no disappointment as most things aren't. It's really pretty. It's again kind of that mixture of like a champagne, a peach, and a pink, but it's also a really beautiful formula. Blends out phenomenally it's really beautiful you can just pick a little up on your finger and tap it in place you can use this with a sponge or a brush and that's one of the things that I love about it it's absolutely foolproof and any of these highlighters that I've mentioned like the Clinique like the Nabla which we're gonna talk about next and this one from ColourPop when it has that sort of trio of colors champagne pink peach especially on my warmer skin tone. It just kind of goes with everything and I love a cream highlight, especially if I'm not wearing foundation or going with a lighter makeup look. I'm definitely reaching for this one. I would love to hear recommendations on other colors of this formula if you have any for me. Next is most underrated and for me it is the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder, and I have mine in the shade Privilege. You know that I've been talking about this absolutely constantly lately. I have a big dip in mine, and I am starting to hear more people talk about this here on YouTube, but it's still not getting the hype that it deserves. This is another one of those that I talk about where it's kind of peachy, pinky, champagne-y. The difference with this one, however, is in the name. It is the Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder, Skin Glazing. And that is what's special about this one, and I've mentioned it in 100 videos, so I won't go too far into it, but this looks like a gloss on the skin. Gloss so pretty I can't even stand it it's the only one that I left out when I was moving and my makeup was all packed up except for a few things and I was more than happy to reach for this one every single day this formula is fantastic I also have the bronzer but today I'm wearing the blush tone this is in the shade Lola also super pretty like a beautiful watermelon color you can see right there and this is really beautiful as well it might look a little scary but blend it out on the skin it's nice and sheer and I just love this formula it's great for bronzer it's great for highlight it's great for blush and that's the cool thing is like the blush and highlight are kind of all in the same range and so something like this might be a beautiful highlighter for beautiful rich deep skin tone Whereas something like this is more appropriate for me for a highlight and this is more like a blush for me So I love the versatility of the line in that way, but this highlighter just knocked my socks off Now this next one's for you Samantha The next one is the see me from space highlighter in your collection and for me that is the Ofra and Samantha March collaboration. I bought mine during the first release. So it's called the At Beauty Word Highlighter. It's now called the Start Inspired Highlighter. But Ofra wins it hands down for See Me From Space highlighters. Now you have two slices here of Star Island and two slices of Pillow Talk. I typically mix them together because then it makes this really beautiful sort of nude shade but this is so 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 
beautiful, but look at that. It is shiny. Like the aliens are going to be like, whoa, we see your highlight. Turn your face. You're shining it in our eyes. Like I'm a dork. I agree. But this is so, so <laughs> blingy and I love it. It is definitely something that I'm reaching for from time to time. Next is the Best Glow From Within highlighter and I love this highlighter. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade 01 Highlight. Again, this is a baked product. This is a mini. I got this in a Sephora favorite set a long time ago, but this is just stunning. This is a beautiful everyday highlighter. It just blends into the skin effortlessly. I would almost say that this is sort of like the powder version of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for me and that it just becomes one with your skin and therefore it's just like, ooh, like she has a really good skin or what does she use for skincare or you know, whatever. So I really love this. It's one that I use quite a bit. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on it, but there's part of me that's like, when I use this up, I'll have to buy the full size because I can't see not having this in my collection. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, I wanna know what your best highlighter in a palette is. It could actually be an eyeshadow and an eyeshadow palette that you love to use as a highlighter, or it can be a highlight in a face palette. Whatever your jam is, it could be a highlight in a highlight palette if you love that too. But for me, it comes by way of my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's this highlighter right here. Again, this is like a beautiful glow from within. Very everyday. <laughs> Every day seems like a put down sometimes when it comes to makeup, but it's just beautiful. It's so perfect for my skin. Um, it has that little bit of a yellow tinge to it, which is one of the things that I like about it. It's very easy to blend on the skin. It's a nice soft powder, but not like an eyeshadow, if you will. So that's my favorite highlight that is in a palette. I would love to hear your answer to this question because I'm always curious. And that, my friends, is a wrap. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this tag. I hope it goes up before someone else creates a highlight tag. Just, you know, I just thought it would be fun to sort of jump on the bandwagon. I know Jessica Braun has done multiple videos like this that I in turn filmed as well and Samantha March recently put up the bronzer tag which I loved answering because I love bronzer. I love makeup. Let's be real. So if you did love today's video I would absolutely appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful highlighter makeup days and I will see you in my next video real soon. Oh, 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 oh,